What's going on guys? I'm Amkaka and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make this beautiful falling leaves in your own Minecraft world. Okay, so let's get us started. The first thing that you're gonna do is to get yourself a command block. So use slash give, then your username and command block. There we go, I now have a command block. So what happens here is that every leaf that is dropping from this beautiful sakura tree is an armor stand holding a pink carpet which is rotating and going down at the same time and it makes it look so beautiful okay so the first thing that we're gonna do after getting our command block I'm actually going to summon the first armor stand so type slash summon armor stand then add this coordinates doesn't matter right now uh, then open and close curly brackets in between them type no gravity so so gravity doesn't apply to the armor stands uh, set it to 1b make sure n and g are capital letters then invulnerable set it to 1b so the players can't uh, break the armor stand in adventure or survival mode then invisible because we obviously want the uh, armor stand to be invisible set it to 1b then show arms because uh, the armor stand is holding the carpets so it should uh, show the arms but because it's invisible it's not gonna show the arms but it's going to show the pink carpet which we will use and set that to one B. Then uh, we're gonna give it a tag. Open normal brackets and in quotation marks, type your tag. I'm gonna use leaf uh, leaves. And then we are gonna add the item. So type hand items. Open a uh, normal brackets and the curly bracket in the curly bracket type ID and two quotation marks in between the quotation marks is the ID of your item which you're going to use if you're using this for a oak tree or a spruce tree it's better to use kelp and you can maybe use green carpet or lime carpet but for a sakura tree I think pink carpet is the best item so I'm gonna use mine I'm gonna type Minecraft pink underscore carpet then after the curly bracket uh, no before the closing the curly bracket type count 1b after the curly bracket put a comma and two uh, open and close the curly bracket it's just empty then after this last bracket right here uh, type a comma and then disabled slots so this makes it that you don't accidentally uh, click on the armor stand and it changes the item in the hand of the armor stand and we're gonna disable all of the slots of the armor stand so type 4144959 and as we summon the armor stand you can see that this is the pink carpet and here is the armor stand if you can if you go into spectator mode you can see it but this armor stand is not moving so we want it to be rotating and going down so what we're gonna do in a command block actually I'm going to place this command block somewhere else what you want to do is to execute sorry okay execute as at a 
at E because we're executing as the entities and an arm percent is an entity tag equals leaves and type equals armor stand so every leaf that you're using is going to be selected by this command this command block uh, you can do uh, so basically this command block sets the speed that uh, the leaf falls down and rotates you can use different uh, command blocks for that but you will need a different command block and tag for each armor stand but I'm going to use only this for all of them it looks good but you can modify it on your own then uh, we have selected the armor stand at at s so it's now running the command at the position of the armor stand that has been selected right here then run tp so it teleports the armor stand tilde 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 at the same uh, coordinates i'm going to to change the y coordinates so the y is going to be tilde then minus 0 0.08 or uh, 0 0.04 and tilde 8 tilde uh, and tp at s then this the rest of the command the commands are in the description if you want to copy them uh, feel free to do so and these uh, green lines are the rotation of the command blocks so you can put it in on repeat let's grab a lever and as you can see the leaf is gone now it's going to go to the void and die but we don't want that so what we will do is actually I like to hide it under a piece of grass maybe or we can use an andesite okay uh, so we actually need uh, two more command blocks and these two command blocks are for each leaf so I'm gonna do this it make sure it's facing down and the second command block is going to be right here but you can also do it with one command block which I'm going to tell you how later in the video so the first command is kill at e tag equals leaves and uh, type is armor stand and the distance is 0 0.5 the distance of the armor stand is 0 0.5 to the command block set it on always active and repeat so now if I summon a normal stand it instantly killed it let's oh what uh, okay let's kill this guy uh, so this is our command right let's copy that and it goes down and it didn't kill it because I don't think it was close enough maybe anyways uh, so after that let's actually check, check I'm going to set this to less than five blocks and now it should do the trick yeah it instantly killed it so 0 0.5 then this command block set it on always active conditional and chain this command block is basically the summing command so you can copy the summing command and paste it right here and I'm going to after the second delta til uh, tilde which is the y coordinates you want to uh, set where the 
armor stand leaf spawns again so I'm going to actually type 13 for example so now if I go ahead put this command which spawns the first armor stand and so it's not always active the leaf spawns it dies and respawns right on top of here so now you can use different uh, Y coordinates for each of your leaves depending on where it's respawning and so yeah that's it for this now just one of them doesn't look uh, much good but when there is a lot of them like this security uh, now they are just mid air because I stop the command block let's actually go down here and set it to always active now as you can see they're all moving and it looks really really cool the leaves are falling it looks awesome in my opinion now if you don't want to use two command blocks for, for each leaf you can use only one and the way you do is that instead of killing the command block the armor stand and resummoning it you teleport it so you use an execute command you do execute as at a equals uh, tag leaves and type is an armor stand tag leaves and at e I'm sorry okay type armor stand and distance is less than half 0 0.5 at uh, at s run tp at s and then the coordinates and 13 the tilde tilde 13 and tilde so it teleports the uh, armor sand back to the top but this method uh, looks a bit weird because when uh, it is teleporting the armor stand to about right here you can uh, slightly see that it moves let me actually put it on always active and repeat so you can get the full effect now it is right here okay why didn't that do it okay there we go now as you can see you saw it that it moved this method uh, using the two command block is a lot better now we can see it actually in comparison okay you see that moves really fast but it is uh, you can see it so it isn't the best but this one looks very good all right thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and comment down below what you want to see next and i will see you in another video Bye.